slept on the boat. On the other hand, <laughs> I can't get over. Ah, felt great. What was that? Guessing staring at bright lights is not going to be a good thing from here on out. Excuse me. I was just going to say something about how I can't get over how completely beautiful the sky is. <laughs> I can see so much of it now. I guess being a vampire isn't all bad, is it? Oh. It's getting lighter out, isn't it? Well, great. It'd be damned if I'm going to stay in Winterhold. Nope, not with the Imperial soldiers' corpses in cages on display by the bridge. That just strikes me... I mean... I suppose they could assume I'm neutral, given that I'm not exactly... It is getting lighter out. Oh, good. Ah. That's how you do that. Cool. I should have asked Kaven. So many more questions. And I did not. Uh, it's a place right up here, isn't it? Or am I nuts? There is. Pines Grove. Right? I think. <laughs> they say the college has been snooping around Sarthor. Mages in a burial crypt? No good can come of that. Yeah, no kidding. I hear Eastmarch. I'm not sure what what it is about Eastmarch that dragons just Well, I guess I don't really want to risk it. But I guess Kamen was right. About sunrises, anyway. Hmm. Oh, good. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Yep. Ish. Hey. This may seem an odd request, but... Your skin's as pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something? Uh, uh, nope, I'm afraid I've always been this pale. I'm actually looking for a room. Uh, I just came from Winterhold. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Yeah, I just flew in from Winterhold, and boy, are my arms tired. Anyway, I'll choke. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Th thank you. Eh, <sighs> you know how mages are. Weird hours. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Thanks. Uh, I really am tired. I didn't really... Uh, just sleep, Arden. Just sleep. Right. I should get out of here before that spell wears off. That would be unfortunate in the extreme. Alternatively, I could just wait in here and not risk it. And there it goes. Thank you, Ingrath, you sneaky man. 
right. I'm not supposed to be using his name. Oh well. Oh. Hi. Uh, sorry. I'm off. Oh, thank you very much, Idra. Your name was Idra, right? Oh, anyway. I didn't time that properly at all. Whatever, good enough. I think the sun's just starting to go down, which is nice. You have no idea. I have no idea. I had no idea. How relieving it would be to actually kind of see Skyrim in daylight-ish. Not like I've been much of a fan of midday sun my entire life, but as evidenced by my rather pallid complexion even when I was human, mortal, whatever. This dragon is going to be an absolute pain in my backside, isn't it? I can feel it. Oh, hey. I don't really need this anymore, do I? There. Ah. Hm. I may yet become an illusionist yet. Uh-oh. What the? Look, mate. Picked a real bad fight. Enough. <sighs> I mean, I hate to do this, but this is oh. over. <laughs> you seem to be in a pretty bad way. I feel like this is a mercy. <laughs> yep. Oof. Yikes. Bit warm. And that's why I don't really want to deal with the dragon. <coughs> Good. Dry throat. That's nice. I'm sure that means something completely different now than it did... Steam vents. Than it used to. Yeah, I, I really did kind of expect that my senses would be a little better. They're not. At all. <laughs> uh. Although. Ooh, hello, you big scaly bastard. You stay well back. Although I think, you know, what are you supposed to be? Exactly. He cast some kind of spell on me or something. What? I will take that. Where are you supposed to be exactly? As instructed, you are to eliminate Ardinius Welk by any means necessary. The Black Sacrament has been performed. Someone wants this poor pool dead. That is not an option. Astrid. Huh. Well, frankly, I can only think of one person who might want me dead, and he is.
Don't even think about it. Who by Mara, I ask, knows about me and wants me dead? Unless it's someone from Cyrodiil. Suppose that's an option. Yep, I do believe I've gotten a bit faster. I was keeping up with Kamen pretty well, so, uh, you know. Mayhaps. Pretty. Yeah, you just kind of stay where you are. It's fine, I'm moving. God's damn bears. Right, I have no idea where I'm going. Where I'm going, rather. Well, faster. Uh, yes. Is there any way you'd rather spend the day than drinking hunting brew meat? Faster, yes. I'm still not any more used to the elder do than I was. <laughs> Don't you dare. Oh, trust me, it's a bad idea. Don't do it. Oh, jeez. So it really is dry. What do you want to bet? Hey, speaking of which. Ah, well, I suppose it's a good thing that's all I was carrying in there. I just had this horrible thought that I would soon have all kinds of weird things going bad in my bag because I can't eat it. Well, can I? Well, I mean... I suppose I can, but... Right. Don't. You have your goat. Leave me be. Good grief, I don't think I'll ever get used to this. <laughs> who needs who needs whirlwinds when you can run this fast? Oh, that's right. I forgot it. I kind of threw me off so badly. There was so much I was doing and then him. I'm just going to steer around this bear. Thanks. Hold on, am I gaining on that deer? Really? No way. <laughs> well, I would be if I, could <laughs> if I could keep it up long enough for it to matter. I'm going to stay clear of that. Man! I never really noticed how beautiful Skyrim is at night. Oop, pardon me. Let's not run into things. Huh. Okay, this must be sure stone, which means... I think I kind of know where I'm going now. Fun. Oh, pardon me. Excuse me, chicken. Don't really want to run over a chicken. I hear they get pretty pissy about that in Riverwood. What are you up to? Hm. Oh. Is there no way around this? I'm sure there is. Holy Mara. Right, I need to focus. I've got... It's so... Violet, I suppose. Indigo, maybe. I don't think I've ever noticed before. Ah, 
Yep, that's the road I'm looking for right there. Wow. <laughs> Look at me. Ah, uh, classic I'm just marveling at the... Yep. At the stars and running the rocks and whatnot. Okay, focus. Places am I going? Almost directly to the west of here. Uh, I guess, doesn't it? So we'll go around this. Yes. Uh oh. Hi. Hey, pop. Oh, all right. What? Something tells me that's not. a good thing. I'm going to put my hood up and keep an eye on them. Okay. I didn't realize until just now that that was a Dawn Guard patrol and that I have to avoid those now. Oh, good. I mean. I'm no enemy of the dawn guard. Well, <laughs> I suppose I kind of am on principle now, am I? Aren't I? Am I not? Where in the name? Oh. Yep, that matches the description. Well, not down hut in the middle of nowhere. You want a bit? Fall into low lives. This should be interesting. Pardon me. If you're buying, go on in. Otherwise, shove off. I'm going to ignore that. Oh, that's a bit bright. That's much better. <laughs> what is that smell? Hold it. If you're going downstairs, you keep your weapons to yourself. Or we'll be getting better acquainted. Head on in. And behave yourself. Well, of course. Will do. Right? This is not the kind of place that... Mm-hmm. She's a vampire. She probably can tell that I'm one too. Hello? Ah, oh, welcome. Welcome. I don't believe we've seen you here before, have we? You can buy from me, then join any booth you'd like. Um... What exactly is this place? <laughs> Wait, you're serious? This is the Redwater Den, purveyors of the best skooma outside of Balmora. Hi, I'm serious. Yeah, I'm here to see a friend, it's, it's fine. Be sure to enjoy some of our Redwater Skooma before you leave. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? I would talk to her, but I do not trust her one bit. Gods. 
Excuse me, sorry. Pardon me. What? Who? You're that one from Helgen. I barely made it out of there myself. I hurt my back and I... I just need something for the pain. Oh, uh, sorry, you must have me confused with someone else. I... <laughs> okay. And it's locked. His back is turned. Sneaky. Come on, on. Be quick with your fingers, please. Come on. Huh? <laughs> okay. Actually, that didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Good idea. <laughs> he had not surprised he saw me. No surprise in the slightest. Oh dear, Mara, I should have asked Kingman how to actually deal with any of this. Do those even work on me now? So that's what that smell is. I know you could burn skooma. I thought you drank it. Shows oh, how much I know. Must have run off. Yep, must have. Great. Just bloody great. I have now found myself in a skooma den where I'm supposed to be finding a blood spring, whatever that is. What was that? That was me. And it does stink, so I'm putting that, that hood on because I don't need any of this. Thanks. No trip wires, please. Oh. What was that? Two for one! And he's twitching. Well, that's great. Sorry. Wait. How did you not get ashed, sir? Oh. That could be useful. Hold up. I saw a book. The Ethereum Wars. Haven't I read this? I think I have. Oop, bucket. Yes, I'm Well, maybe that's where I came in and I'm just... 
completely and utterly turned around. That would not surprise me in the slightest. <clears throat> Great, it feels like I'm getting sick and I know it's not that because that's, far as I know, now impossible. Nope, I'm not going to do it. Well, that was not exactly inconspicuous, was it? I heard a mage, I heard a mage, I heard a mage. I'm guessing... Whatever it is. About to come down through there somewhere. Yep! Excellent. And I managed to misplace one entire room. That's nice. Ah. That's a pretty snazzy cloak if I do say so myself. I would pick it up, but I think I know the enchantment on it already. Anybody here? No, just traps, which I don't want to deal with. Okay, I'm good. Jeez. I can almost feel my heart racing. That disturbs me and confuses me in equal measure. I feel kind of normal, which is also confusing. Hello, that's a coffin. Seriously? You know, I always thought it was just kind of exaggeration the vampires slept in coffins, although. Hello, puppy. Oh, she's in a- <sighs> Definitely thought it was an exaggeration that you people sleep in coffins. And I was apparently wrong. Who? Oh. <laughs> apparently I asked someone over there. Good. Things I did not know I could do. Well, things I knew I could do, but I am still not sure if I should be actually wielding this sword, given what I am now. I suppose it doesn't really matter at this point. I do have a backup if I need it. Not sure how Glenroy would feel. Lenroy? Roslon. Not sure how he'd feel about being wielded by a vampire, but here we are. Nope. Thought I saw a pull chain on the wall there and it definitely didn't. Huh. That's interesting. That would be a flag of RK situated above what I can only assume is a bar relief of Orky. Hello. This is something. The Journal of Venerous Vulpin. Let's spring of Langir's feast. Uh, right. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure who this Venerous Vulpin is, but when I meet him, so why don't you just drink the blood from the spring? I would like to cut I his mean, head off. Thanks. That seems easier than running a skooma den. The boss said it's some sort of profaned spring. It looks like blood, but it's there. not the real thing. 
Drinking it gives you strength, but it also gets you pretty messed up. That's why we thought of putting it in the schooner. That's... That's pretty messed up. Yep. Why are you people like this? to say and I'm one of them now but I kind of am one of them now. Oh, this bows ill. Yes it does. And I don't don't like the fact that we've got fire pots hanging all over the place. I don't want one to come falling down on my head. So... Hopefully. Hello. Oh, hello. Heard something. Okay. Jeez. Hey, good luck, hon. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to get very far with that. Not with me. And there's a dog. Two of them, in fact. For the love of Mara. Come on. Come on. Are you gonna do it? Or are you just going to sit there in a corner like a, well, kicked puppy? I'll just leave you in there with that rune. How about that? That was cruel of me. I mean, I hate death hounds, but still. There he goes. Also, did I growl at that thing? Did I? I feel like I just did. A lot that I want to really take in here. Oh, right. Yes, I do need that open. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. Did I come in this way, or am I just nuts? Yep, I came in this way. Yeah, of course. I think I did growl with that dog, which makes me... equal parts concerned. There's a lot of concerned and confused going on in me right now. I can feel my fangs, that's disconcerting. Also, I don't think this is water. It may well be water. You know what, at this point I don't really care about stealth, so come on. Is it draft of water breathing? 
Uh-huh. I don't really think I'm going to need that. Why is it that vampires insist on using drain health spells, I assume, on other vampires? Because that just seems counterproductive in the extreme to me. Uh, I'm missing something. Yes, I am. What am I missing? Alchemy? Is that what I'm missing? Is there just something there that I'm supposed to put something on? Uh, no. Where am I going? Oh, that's what I'm missing. There's a pull chain right there. Good job. Observe, Arden. Hey, what are you trying to pull? A chain, my dear. Great. I sound like... <sighs> I'm starting to sound like Ankara. That's great. That's a trap. Hello, trap. I see you. Oh. Well, I mean, that's not exactly what I was looking for, but I'll take it, sure. Why not? Um, I looked in here already, didn't I? Yes. Aha! More traps, hello. Let's not. Yeesh. Yeah. These look... Painful and deadly in all kinds of interesting ways. Oh! Okay! Alright, ow, 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 kick it, stop. Thank you. Hockey's balls. Hello. Oh. I can't reach. Hi. Hello. Ah, oh, great gods, you're All right, fine. That's not going to hit anybody, is it? I knew it. Oh, hello. Has anyone ever no told more. you not to turn your back I on yield. an enemy? Sure you do. There's a lot of you. Okay. Again. <sighs> Done. Firmly splattered. Oh, there we go. Huh. I kind of would have assumed that was something. I guess not. Now, one of these was the Master Vampire, right? I'm going to assume this one. Maybe. Oh, there he is. Oh! Huh. Your Venerous Vulpin. Not much if you ask me. Ah, and that'll be the door. Thank you, Venerous, for your key. Uh, uh, that's the blood spring. Ew. Double ew. Again! And I sense this is becoming a theme in my life. Why are vampires so messy? There. One full chalice coming right up. Ugh. Hello? It's really too bad. 
a little accent. Of course he does. I am getting real sick of this sword, I'll be honest. Have fun. I can't reach that far with the runes, can I? Eh, that'll do. I don't really want to walk through that again, but I'm going to anyway. It, sorry, whoever's head that was. You know, you're real bad at hiding. Ouch. Gotta say, though, that's pretty smart using fire on a vampire. Now, where'd. There, oh, yeah, right, she's over there. Thank you. And apparently I need some of your blood also. I'll do. Thanks. Look at you. My dear boy, you seem to have caused quite the stir back there. If you're here to take the chalice, stand down. I saw you when I came in, and I don't want to fight you. <laughs> You're damn right you don't want to fight me. I dare say I'd be sending you back to Harkin as a pile of ash. I take it you're the mage? I'm a mage. A brat, too. <laughs> I like you. So, whose business are you here on? Lord Harkin, I assume? Who else? Hmm. He must have decided to kill two birds with one stone. I'm surprised our mutual acquaintance didn't come with you. I'm afraid you have me at a loss. Oh, come now. You realize that at least half of Skyrim's underground has now heard of Serana's return? And I happen to know that there were only two people actively searching for her at the time. Only one of them returned, and he did so with company. You have very good ears, Miss Gold. I would be wise not to underestimate you. I take it Cayman told you about me? Yes. And he also told me not to tell you. Heh, <laughs> of course he did. Tell me, how much do you know of our mutual acquaintance? I know he works for Harkin in some capacity, that you're the one who turned him, and that he's the best damn archer I've ever seen despite his missing eye. Beyond that, well, I'd rather not say without knowing more about you. Smart, but you don't need to worry. I suspect I know more about Cayman than anyone alive, and in ways few ever have, or ever will. Oh. I see. If you haven't noticed already, Cayman has the unfortunate habit of letting people get close to him too soon. I'm simply making sure you aren't going to do something you'll regret, my dear. Miss Gold, I must make a request of you. Oh? Yeah. Please don't call me your dear. Nothing personal, it's just... a hard phrase for me to hear right now. I'm trusting you with that information, knowing only that Cayman thinks you're good people, and he trusts you. I trust him, regardless of you trying to warn me away. Interesting. Recently bereaved, if it's not terribly insensitive of me to ask? It is. I killed him, actually. Him? Oh, I see. I had heard there was an incident at the college. Yes, and I'd rather not speak of it right now, thanks, least of all to you. Please, just tell me what you want so I can take this damn thing back. Gods know what Harkin's gonna use it for, but... I don't exactly have a choice now. Well, you're half right about that. 
You have plenty of choices. What did you say your name was? I didn't. Call me Arden. It's not a name like Cayman's, though I'm beginning to think I should perhaps adopt one. Not a bad idea. I take it you know his real name, then? Yes. Well, Arden, I stopped you to make sure I knew whose business you were on, like I said. I would have stopped you at the door, but I knew we'd be having... other company. Yes. You mentioned that Harkin decided to kill two birds with one stone. One of them was the chalice, obviously. I doubt the other was dealing with those two idiots back there. So what was your deal with Harkin? The one that came and got mixed up in. Oh. How did you possibly hear about that? I wasn't supposed to. I was... I think about three quarters vital at that point and very, very out of it. I see. Well, since Harkin didn't tell you, I suppose I should. Cayman was never supposed to be a vampire, you see. He was just another of my little birds for a while. A smuggler, usually of information, sometimes of clothing and goods from Cyrodiil, but... One thing led to another, and... You turned him. Which Harkin wasn't happy about, given how utterly obsessed he is with pure bloodlines and whatnot. Correct. And when he sent Fira to come try to harass me about it, I sent her back with an offer. A treaty, if you will. Fira! Alright, I begin to see the kind of offer he was about to give you. <laughs> yes, she's a charming one, isn't she? Yes. What'd you tell him? I told Harkin I'd lend him my best enforcer and tracker to help search for Serana and act as a personal executioner for a while. You sent him Cayman? Yes, I did. The man that initiated this whole mess in the first place. Of course, Harkin didn't know that at the time. That explains a lot. What were the terms? Well, that's where things get a bit... political. I'm an archmage. Try me. Ooh. Sparky. I like you. Put as simply as I can, Redwater Den is situated in its own, rather sizable chunk of territory, which Harkin sees as part of the Volcahar clan's territory by virtue of it being in Skyrim. I'm following so far. He installed his own overseer of the area, Veneris Vulpin, also known as the reason I am what I am and where I am, rather than a mortal woman somewhere back in High Rock. Wait. Vulpin? I just... And that was the other bird. You see, I could have killed the wretch myself if I so chose, but... Had I done so, control of the territory would have shifted back to Harkin or to one of his advisors. I wanted to make sure that didn't happen. Oh. Oh, that's brilliant. Harkin gets an extra pair of very skilled hands for a while, Serana comes home, and in turn, you gain control of what, in my uneducated mind, assumes is a rather important piece of Skyrim. And the best part? I now have a very loyal set of eyes and ears in Harkin's court, and he has almost nothing in mine. Well played, Miss Gold. Well played indeed. That's why he sent me here with the chalice, I assume. He gets something he needs and fulfills the other half of the contract. You are correct. Any chance you're giving lessons in political stealth? I feel like it'll come in handy in my near future. <laughs> Maybe, Sparky. Maybe. Sparky? Gods, what is it with you people and the nicknames? Never mind. That all explains a lot, but there's still one piece missing. Oh? Lokil. Harkin sent Lokil into the crypt, probably to catch Cayman up in a death trap. Why? To get out of a contract that wasn't working out in his favor. Obviously, he wasn't expecting the Archmage to intervene. Oh. Obviously. Oh. Oh, that... bastard did trap me. Which one? Harkin! Oh, for... Gods, that makes too much sense. Of course he offered to turn me rather than offering me my life or just killing me or something. I'm one of the most powerful mages in Skyrim if my station is to speak for me. No doubt he knew my name the same way you heard about the college. Getting me under his control. Oh. 
Aura, what have I done? Harkin is a powerful man, Arden. One that few people could resist. And I do rather have a weakness for powerful men. Taman seems to think I had a choice in the matter. You did. And you still do. It seems to me you're no slouch, either. Of all the people in Skyrim, I suspect you're in the best position to do something about him. What do you mean? Lesson one. If you don't like your options, make a new one. Sometimes you have to get creative to change a system, and make no mistake, the Volkahar clan is a system. <laughs> you don't seriously think I'm strong enough to take down Harkin, do you? I felt his power firsthand, and he's... I doubt that highly. Not as you stand now, perhaps. But, you are a vampire, a mage, and you have access to the largest collection of spells, tomes, and textbooks in Skyrim. And, you have plenty of time to figure something out. I may not have the luxury of immortality if I'm working against someone as paranoid as Harkin. Ah, but there you have one other massive advantage. You're new here. Nobody will expect you to know our ways right off, and since Harkin himself turned you, let's just say you have quite a bit more leeway than you think. I take it you aren't telling me all this for free? You are, if nothing else, a shrewd businesswoman, after all. You are a sharp one. For the moment, all I ask is that you keep Cayman and I in the loop if anything major happens. I wouldn't expect you to know what that looks like yet. Ah. That I think I can manage. Good. Now get going before Orthialf and Vingalmo realize their lackeys aren't coming back. <laughs> I get the feeling we've just had a battle of the champions, and Garen Morethi just came out on top. <laughs> oh, and give Cayman my regards, would you? Tell him to come by for tea sometime. I will. And I assume he'll know what that means. Take care, Sparky. You as well, Miss Gold. <sighs> didn't really notice. Till now. But man, when that sun comes up... Whew. Is slow down, and I'm not used to it anymore. Although, being able to run like a bat out of oblivion, and that's not exactly an exaggeration, is rather useful. Here, Hesla. What was her name, right? Grief. I'm tired. Hmm. I wonder where Vingalmo is. Hello, Orthjolf. You can't trust a word that comes out of Vingalmo's mouth. Remember that. Uh-huh. And I see you sent one of yours as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I trust we have an understanding. Now. Next question, where is Master Morethi? Oh, also, I'd like a word with you. Yeah. I hope you find Lord Harkon's court to your liking. Oh, so far, yes. Don't worry. I'm not as stupid as you probably think I am. Mm hmm. Toodles. That probably wasn't something I should have admitted. But here we are. Where the... I'm not as stupid as you might think I am. I say and then can't find... Garen Worthy, who's standing right over here. Maybe I am just as stupid. Somebody has got to clean this bloody place up. Master Morethi. I see you have returned. Lord Harkon will be pleased. You met Stolf and Salonia, I assume? Huh. Lord Harkon and I suspected they might follow you there. Yes. 
and I killed them both. As well you should have. Welcome to the politics of Lord Harkon's court. Vingalmo and Ortheolf both long for our Lord's throne, but cannot make overt moves against him. You know, Ortheolf's standing right there. Each sought to gain power by using his underling to kill you and keep the chalice for himself. By ensuring the chalice reaches our Lord, you have increased his power over them, and at the same time, deprive them of their little pets. You've done, Lord Harkon, two great services. Take what you've learned to heart, and be careful who you trust. No, no kidding. Now, I believe that Lord Harkon wishes to speak with you. Okay. You can't trust the word that comes out of Vincalmo's mouth. Remember that. Mm-hmm. I'll remember a lot of things. Oh, uh... What was your name again? I know there's two of you. You know? That's terrifying. <laughs> Standing up close to them like that is horrible. And I just entirely lost. There you are. Sorry. Where is Lord Arkin? Not entirely sure. Um, I'm gonna guess not in here, and that I should not be here. Question. I'm sure Lord Harkon is grateful you've returned his daughter. Yeah, where is he? I'm a little lost. Ancestors guide you. Of course. Hello. You're a slightly different one. I'll get used to them eventually, probably. Oh. Cayman speaks very highly of you, by the way. Just saying. Not sure why. I feel like I should say it, but I did. Where am I even going? Oh. In the name of R.K. Lord Harkin. Hello. Ah, you are here. Good. You wanted to speak to me? Yes, I did. When I told you that I was grateful for my daughter's safe return, I told the truth. But I did not tell you everything. I suspected as much. It's probably smart, as I'm learning. Good. Strong instincts and a cunning mind will serve you as well as blade, spell, or claw. As you know, vampires are powerful, but we have limits. Our great enemy is the sun. And until recently, it's an enemy we've had no way to fight. For centuries, I searched for an answer to this problem. I found an old prophecy written by a moth priest. Those scholars who read the Elder Scrolls. The prophecy tells of a time in which vampires will gain power over the sun and will no longer fear its tyranny. I believe the secret to unraveling that prophecy is written in Serana's Elder Scroll. I have ordered the court to assemble. I have a new task for us all to carry out, and that includes you. Come now, and hear my proclamation. Of course. After you. I'm not taller than him, am I? Weird thing to think about, but... No, I don't think I am. Should I be down there, or...? Science of the night. No, I guess not. Hear my words. The prophesied time is at last upon us. Good lord, that brings Soon us hot. we will claim dominion over the sun itself. Step back and here. forge a new realm of eternal darkness. 
Now that I have reclaimed one of my Elder Scrolls, we must find a Moth Priest to read it. I have spread false rumors about the discovery of an Elder Scroll in Skyrim to lure a Moth Priest here. Now it is time to see if those efforts have borne fruit. Go forth and search the land for rumors of a Moth Priest within our borders. Look to the cities. Speak to innkeepers, carriage drivers, anyone who would meet a traveler. Go now, and carry out this task. This is my command. Any idea how you're going oh, to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Why, oh, hello, Sirona. I did not see you there at all. There they go. I have no idea. Where would a moth priest actually go? Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Oh, that's right. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. I can respect that. I... I'm ready if you are. I never told you, did I? I'm the Archmage of the College of Winterhold. Yes? So... Sorry. We got off on the wrong foot. In a big way. I take it you weren't always a vampire? That's... a long story. I'd like to hear it, but not if you're, you know, uncomfortable sharing it around here. I would completely understand. I guess we kind of have to go way back, to the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? I... My current guess is Molag Ball. Exactly. The first vampire came from Molag Ball. She was not a willing subject. But she was still the first. Molag Ball is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift, but they must be powerful oh, in their own right before earning his trust. Ish. I take it... I mean, I heard part of the story from Harkin, I'm just trying to understand. I'm a curious beast by nature, I'm afraid. I take it you weren't a willing subject either. The ceremony was... degrading. Let's not revisit that. No problem. But we all took part in it. Not really wholesome family activity, but... I guess it's something you do when you give yourselves to a Daedric Lord. Are you alright? Well, you've met most of us. My father's not exactly the most stable, and eventually he drove my mother crazy with him. And it all ended with me being locked underground for who knows how long. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. I understand. Are you alright? You, I mean. Not you as in your family, but you. I hesitate to say I know what it's like, but... Let's not go there. I'm just asking if you're alright. I will be. Just give me a little time. Of course. <sighs> I'll have to tell you about... Eh, never mind. We should probably get going, huh? Moth priests defined and all that. What's this one's name, exactly? Huh. Oh. actually responds when you talk to it. Strange. Oh, right. It's also midday out. Uh, great. We may have to rest here for a bit.